my thoughts on using executive search terms are, are you know, obviously based on my experience, which is generally very positive. Um, uh, having said that, uh, I think that in the private equity world, we do look for flexibility of offering from the search community, which isn't always present. What I mean by that is that um, you know, oftentimes we don't just have a, a plain vanilla search to commission. Uh, we might, for instance, be looking speculatively at a new deal opportunity. Uh, we wouldn't have necessarily the budget to go out and find someone for, the, for that deal if the deal doesn't complete. So uh, being able to work with a search firm partner who is prepared to be f more flexible in how they work with us in that context uh, can be very helpful. And that's not only in terms of the style of operation that they uh, bring to bear, but also the, uh, the approach to fees and so on that, that flows from that. I think recruiting firms could improve the service to a firm like Advent being a private equity firm by being even more cognizant of what the particular demands of private equity are. Uh, understanding um, that actually it is distinct from many other corporate recruitment that they may engage in uh, because um, of the nature of our business. Uh, we are looking for people who are particularly interested in operating with real pace, um, who are less concerned about corporate politics and more concerned about really making a, a, a significant impact on a business in a, in a tight time scale with a real focus on cash management, on profitability, uh, and, um, and operational transformation. Um, some people who succeeded in other types of environment may not always present those characteristics and search firms need to, I think, be more cute to trying to work out what our requirements are versus other types of employer. When a particular search firm is unable to deliver on against a particular assignment that we're looking to fill, uh, it, it obviously presents its challenges. We'll obviously, the first port of call will be to go back to that firm to really ask them to work harder uh, to, to come up with the right solution. Um, but failing that, we might either turn to another firm or look for an alternative route, which might be um, using our own network more aggressively to try and uh, encounter the right kind of individual, or of course, uh, use our own resources to target them through, through for instance, use of technology and, and, and uh, see who else that could be out there by more direct approaches. What we would say is different about private equity is that um, when one gets involved in a private equity scenario, it's almost as it's, it's appropriate to think about the business as being in effect a project, which is a beginning, a middle and an end. Um, at Advent, we like to think about the end plus, so I'll explain what that means. Um, beginning clearly is when you take the company on um, from its prior ownership, which could be private equity, or more commonly is going to be out of a public company or a private company. What you're looking to do over the period of your ownership is to transform its performance um, and in so doing um, generate the kind of value I alluded to earlier in the conversation. Um, and then the end is when you're looking to uh, exit the business uh, at a substantial um, increase in value on that when you enter the company. The, at Advent we talk about the, the plus bit being that actually we don't see that as simply being the end of, of the engagement. We very much like to see our companies thrive after uh, we've been invested in it, either thrive in terms of uh, how they perform on the public markets if we've IPO'd the business as part of our exit, or alternatively thrive under the new ownership. I, I think that the job post is going to be a, a great initiative. I think this is a market that uh, demands a certain shaking up of it. I think the job post will be a very interesting stimulus to that. Uh, it's going to be an interesting model which challenges um, both current suppliers, but also, I think, most importantly, the client base to think hard about how it is they can best access the, the appropriate level of talent. And I look forward very much to seeing how it evolves from here.